Hey YouTube, welcome back to Full Charge Gaming. My name is Jover Charge, and we are here to charge up your gameplay for Hacknet. Today we are going to start with Entropy, getting into their group and their initial missions. So we're gonna click our email and it looks like Entropy sent us an email. And basically it's a link to the Slashbot News Network and they've given us the IP address and an immediate link here. You can click this, which I will do, or you can actually type out connect and then give that IP address and you can get there the same way. So we're gonna let that node show up there. And what they want us to do is they want us to disable the message board and delete en negative entropy related articles or articles that reflect badly on entropy. So let's click on the Slashbot News Network Here's their front page, looks good. Looks like it's got some entropy related articles. But in order to get in, we have to probe this IP address. So we're gonna probe and see what happens. Holy cow. All right, so they have a proxy in place and then we have to open one port in order to hack in. And at this point in the game, we only have one executable that we can run to hack and that is the SSH crack. So we'll be using that on port number 22. So more on that later, we gotta get rid of this proxy. And in order to do that, what we have to do is we have to create something called a shell. So in order to create a shell, go to your own PC and actually type out shell. And that'll give you a 40 megabyte shell here in the corner. It'll give you an overload function and a trap function. Now, what you can do is you can open up a shell on any computer that you are the admin of. So in doing the tutorial, we've actually unlocked quite a few nodes. And what you'll notice here is if you look at these two for me, the one on the right is just a little bit brighter than the one on the left. Well, that's because the one on the right, we actually have admin privileges to. So click that. And instead of typing out the word shell, just type up arrow. Up arrow gives you the last command you typed in and hit enter. And that'll give you another shell command on this PC. We'll do this for a couple PCs. And now we have five shells open. Now you don't really need this many early, but later on in the game, you definitely do need this many. So it's good to just practice getting your nodes in place. And as the shells become active, it changes the colors of the nodes too. Good thing to notice. All right, so let's go back into our probe and we're gonna start overloading the proxy. So I'm just gonna click on a couple. The more you click on, the faster it fills up and bypasses. Once it's bypassed, we can now run traffic to these various ports. The only port we can talk to right now is port 22. So instead of typing out SSH crack, you can actually just type out SSH and then hit tab, and that'll auto complete the program for you. Port number 22, we'll let it execute and run its operations where it's sending traffic into this port and unlocking it for us. Once we've met the criteria to get into the system, then you just type in port hack or type in port and hit tab. And we are gonna log in here in just a second. All right, so now we have admin privileges. In order to see the system's folders, just type out ls, and this is like list, I suppose, and it'll list all the folders here. And any programs wind up in the bin folder. Um, the logs of who connects to it and does certain actions wind up here. This is a folder we have to make sure that we erase completely before we leave any system. So as you can tell, it's already documented that we've logged in, disconnected, logged in, opened the port and became admin. We can't leave these things around. So before we leave, we will be erasing everything in this folder and there's nothing in home. So let's go to the message board. This is where our damage is gonna be done. If you look at the config caution.txt, it's gonna say config sys in this folder is a critical system file. Do not delete or rename it. So config sys is the file we need to derange, delete or whatever so that this system fails to work. So config sys is here. We could easily delete it. Type in rm to delete anything. And I guess that stands for remove. And then type out the first few letters and hit tab. Now, because there are two various options that could fulfill config, we're gonna type in the next letter of that config.sys file and then hit tab again. Cause you have to type out the name of the file dot and then the type of file it is. So we're gonna remove that config sys file. Now that that's gone, remember that the email asked us to also get rid of entropy articles that sort of were shed a negative light on them. So that's no problem. We're gonna remove again, type in the few, first few letters of the entropy group is engaged in malicious blah, blah, blah. Get rid of that. Is your data at risk? Yes, but we're gonna delete that one. And suspicions arise over entropy. Yeah, that one's gonna go too. That one's deleted. 
And now we've left these sort of neutral articles and the config caution text file is fine. It told us to delete that other config sys file to mess up the message board. And we can actually check that right now. Just go uh, click this back arrow and go to the news. And now it doesn't work, which is great. So we've completed our quest here. But before we disconnect, you can actually go CD log. This is any type you anytime you type in CD, it's going to stand for change directory. So you can change directory. Um, if you want to get into home, you would do CD home. If you want to back out, you type in CD dot dot or period period. And we're just going to go CD log and we're going to delete everything in here. So you can do that with RM for remove and then Asterisk. Asterisk will delete everything in that folder for you and then type in DC and just leave. We can also close out these first few uh, shells we opened up. And then to confirm any mission, go to your email, click on the last one you had, hit reply, and boom, we get in. All right, guys, you can tell here in the welcome email that we have been allowed access to Entropy. We're gonna click on the Entropy node and they gave us admin and Rosebud as our password. So we are now in Entropy. So come back for more videos where we go through the Entropy quest line and I'll show you guys how to solve those puzzles and go through the various quests. My name is Joe Vercharge and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for coming and we'll see you next time. Take care.